Look! A blue light emitting diode. That's a whole lot better than nothing. After the assembly, I did a quick inspection and I was surprised to find that the solder joints actually looked incredibly good. So I checked for shorts and I couldn't find any. Then after plugging in the USB in my laptop, I saw a single blue light come on. That may not sound like a lot, but it's a lot better than seeing that magic smoke escape. No activity on the USB port though. Checking the crystal, I found that it appeared to get a pulse, but then quickly fade out. After some investigation, I found that the PMIC output was not keeping a steady 3.3 volt as it should, but was in fact responsible for that peak. It turned out it was the wrong channel all along. A quick whip with the Metcal gave the PMIC the old switcheroo and wow, the device shows up on my computer. Bam! I tried to upload the U-Boot SPL and even got some console output. Now that's a big step. Pretty much the only thing that the SPL should do is to initialize the DDR3 memory and it failed at that. So I found the piece in the code where the messages came from and started adding more debug statements. That alone seemed to give enough chip warm up to change the DDR line delays, causing one of the chips to initialize. Oh man, I was so happy. I cried tears of joy. Seeing the U-Boot proper spit out the debug statements was on par with seeing Joker. It was that great. So that's the status as of now. One kidney transplant and a command line for the win. I poked around in U-Boot a little bit as well, and as far as I can tell, nothing else is working, but I'll keep chipping away at it. You know what they say, board bring up is what separates the boys from the men. Bye.